Welcome to Brunner Brothers. Hi, my name is Dave Ray, Chairman of Judges for All Brunner Brothers Competition. Preparing for competition is the topic with the subtitle, How to Choose Models. Many times I've noticed that people select or choose their models very incorrectly. Now, a lot of times, take for example the barbers. The barbers are great barbers. You can tell they can do great work. But why would you pick the young man who got a big scar at the back of his neck? Or he got bad skin? Or holes in his head? Or ripples in his head in terms of layers, or what we call tires in his head? And you're going to give him a clean fade. Not smart. So even if you look is the look that you're creating is great the model is not appropriate you must select models that's going to enhance the look that you're creating simple as that that does not need to be qualified i think that's more of a common sense discussion with a lot of the young ladies that you're competing in the you know hairstyling competitions you have great looks sometimes but the model has either bad skin bad face, bad demeanor, um, bad hairlines, and all that stuff. And sometimes they have bad necks. Now, we don't want to discriminate. We want to be able to open a company all sizes. However, if the model has a neck that is not pleasing to the eye, it's not really pleasing to us, the judges, so the hairstyle will not be pronounced. We're going to see the neck first. So you have to look at all these things. I would suggest you don't pick your first cousin or your bestie. Those are not ones to pick. You may want to pick one of your clients that has a certain look. And when I say look, sometimes there's some people who look good in person, but on camera, they don't look very well. So it's good to take pictures of them and see how well they photograph. These are some of the ways you can pick a model. What you do, if you, I know a lot of times you pick your cousin because you don't have to pay her. That's understandable. However, you may want to pick a client who is willing to travel with you and maybe offer her some free services, even if you can't give her cash. Free services don't cost you anything. So you can say, on a day that I'm slow, you can come in and get your hair done. You know, maybe not a full head of weave or something, but maybe you can get a nice shampoo and a treatment and you can get, you know, one relaxer and maybe three uh, conditioners, something of that nature, because people are always going for those things because they would have to provide money to be able to, you know, pay you for this service. So this can be a trade-off when you're picking models. A lot of times I pick models from just girls walking on the street. I'll see a young lady walking on the street and say, yeah, I'm not trying to pick you up, I'm just trying to use you as a model, I think you've got a great look. And I'll explain to them what it's about. Sometimes their parents will call me. Some of the girl is 25, but her mother still calls to know what I'm about. But that's okay. You know, and let the mother feel it's okay for her to come, watch what you're doing, so they get a comfort zone when you're dealing with your daughters. So you want to really make sure you pick the people that can really make you look pop. Good skin. Great bone structure. Great hair lines. Those are really important in terms of making your look stand out. Because having a great look but just not the right model does not help you. And for me to have to explain that to you after you've competed doesn't do you justice. So let us keep everything in sync and also have people critique your work as you are preparing for the competition. Stay tuned. More to come. I'm Dave Ray.